What you're looking at here is the flywheel from my rowing machine. If you haven't been following along, basically I am taking my rowing machine and converting it into a human power generator. Now, what I haven't told you up until this point is I have an ulterior project related to this, and that is I wanna hook this up to my television and my kids' video games, and they will have to row on the rowing machine in order to power their video games. I think this will be a fun experiment for them to teach them about alternative forms of power, and I'm really excited about that project. But that's led to a couple of things that I didn't consider until I got to this point. The first issue is when you use a rowing machine, the resistance is created by this impeller. What happens is as you spin up this flywheel, the impeller is creating more and more wind resistance and therefore it's harder to row. But how does this impeller, wind resistance rather, compare to the resistance created by my motor? I have no idea. And because I want my youngest child, my six year old, to be able to row on this machine and at least produce, you know, six volts or so, so that it will display on the screen, it's really important that the lowest resistance is not too high for her. So I've already done the math and figured out that I need a certain size pulley ratio in order to get 90 volts at a speed I feel comfortable rowing with this impeller. Again, I don't know how much different that is pulling against the electrical resistance. What I've decided to do is cut this pulley off of a treadmill. This gives me a reasonable starting ratio. Now, in order to get this thing to fit on here, I had to, well, first I cut this off with the grinder. I also had to drill this hole out to make it fit. So I got one more thing I need to do. I'm gonna drill a hole here, put a set screw in there and uh, make a flat spot. Let's pick up the project there. So if you're gonna do that, you really should use a grinding disc, but I was too lazy to take the cutting disc off, so I just tried to gently shave it down. Don't do that at home. Moment of truth, let's see what we got. Hmm. Well, that's not good. Oh, hold on. Maybe it's backwards. This particular meter doesn't read negative voltage. All right, one more try. <laughs> I 
Now that's what I'm talking about. Let's give this a quick test with a load. I bought this funky looking thing just for this machine. Uh, two bulbs is good. Let's give this a shot. As you probably guessed, my rowing machine does not fit inside my shop and it is like 20 something degrees outside. So I can't take this all outside and hook it up, but I am going to do a couple pulls here so that I can videotape it and uh, let's see what we get. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our homemade generator. Well, it's pretty hard to hold back my excitement. I am so glad to finally have a working prototype. Uh, there are a lot of little things I want to do to this. I mean, of course, I need to make a more permanent motor mount. I'm going to mount both motors on this, my charge controller, my battery setup. All of that needs to be worked out. I want to just first get this thing into the house, get my kids on it, make sure they can use it, and then I will progress the project from there. But that's going to take a little while, so it'll probably be a little while before you get an update on this guy. Well, speaking of updates, I do want to give you a channel update. I'm going on mandatory overtime at work. We've got a huge engineering project that needs my attention for about six weeks, maybe eight weeks, which means I will be really tired when I get home, and I'm not sure how many videos I'll be able to make in the next six weeks or so. For those of you who follow really closely, you're going to see kind of a decline and the publish rate, if you will, but I will get back in the swing of things when that lets up. As far as videos are concerned, I am gonna go ahead and make a video on this guy. The bandsaw is done, it's ready to go. I also have a few other projects that I've already started, so I do plan to keep those rolling and hopefully get those videos produced as well. I definitely had some fun today in the shop, but it's getting chilly out here, it's time to get in the house, so thanks for watching. All right, son, six light bulbs, ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Go. Go, Junior. Pull. Pull, 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 pull hard. Go, pull. pull hard. Come on. Go. 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 Pull it. Pull. Pull. Go. Go. Oh. He's going to do it. Go. 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 Go.